Hey yo, it's your boy Chief Matt and I'm back. Six weeks, 30 videos. From November 14th to December 24th, I'm gonna be dropping five times a week. 100K by force by fire, which I'll never retire. Get your friends to like and subscribe. Disfruta el video, mi gente. Andale, peace. Perfect. Pow, 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 pow. So this is all mine. Yeah, I knew that. I saw. I came. Not. No. In this house, we. Soy sauce. Um, I, I think I don't need any tea Okay. But thank you. Why are you giving me a fork, bro? The UN Max and a whole lot of my friends' girlfriends. Ooh. And only Rob, but only the two men. Okay. How many people are you doing at this one? I'm sure I'm only 50. That's not too bad. <sighs> Yo, you two are so cute. It must be so hard to be. Bow, 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 bow. So tired of people underestimating the work that I go through. Why are you shouting? Welcome, on, people. It's your boy Chief Matt, and we're back with a mukbang with your girl Shay Woods. We got Chinese food today, so Shay got chicken chow mein, mm -hmm. and I got Shanghai beef with a fried rice. And we got three different types of spring rolls. We got prawn chicken. Yeah, no veg. No veg. prawn, veg, and duck. And duck. Yeah, one of them is duck, but do you know which one is which? I don't know, so you have to bite, but I'm assuming that is probably like that because it's a bit dark. Huh? Oh, and there's hair in my food. We love that. That's yours. Anyways, you took my sweet chili sauce. No, I did. How? How? Oh, oh, did you open a sweet chili? You remember? Yes, that? I remember opening up this thing. Ah, Men love cleaning cat. things. Anyways, um, so yeah, y'all mm, sent in top. Mm. Don't waste my porn. <laughs> Why? Why did I open my mouth? <laughs> You're gonna take this it out. It's cold, you know. Mm. Anyways, we all sent in topics. We're gonna go through them. Why did they put cheese with prawn? No. Nah. Maybe warm it up. Maybe maybe we're eating it wrong. No, I'm still gonna eat it. I'm not moving from this spot, bro. Yeah, just take it with this one. Yeah. Yeah. You're so small. I'm taking a bite. <laughs> gonna eat all of your food. Oh, this one's duck. This is veggie. Can I buy a veggie? Mm? Yes, thank you. Very spring rolls are nice. Okay, so get the topics now. I don't like the spicy. Mm. Mm. I don't like them. Mm. Mm. This is what my mom would do. I would say I don't like the spice. My mom would be like, mm, What's that spice? It's nice. <laughs> so good. Um, this one's a duck one. I can't tell you. I don't really like the, the spice one. I think I love the duck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first topic is five things you all like about each other. Five. I can go first if you want to think. That's yeah. Please go because I have a lot to think about. Okay. I don't know about five. Yeah, I wanted to think about this, so I'd have very good answers, but I I didn't really. I forgot to put time into it. But off the top of my head. Mm. Can I say like you want to say one and I say one? Okay. Yeah, we can compliment each other. I. Really like the way that you apply special consideration to me and my life, and like you look for new ways to look out for me because not yeah. a lot of people are there for me the way you are. Um, almost no one is there for me the way you are, and I really appreciate that. Oh, she doesn't do all with um, emotional things, by the way, she doesn't know how to convey her feelings verbally, mostly because she's still learning English. Um, so, yo, what five things? Does it have to be physical things? Because you have no physical aspect. <laughs> um, I like that you're thoughtful. And, like, some people are thoughtful, but, like, you're out of your way to be thoughtful. Like, you actually go out of your way. Like, crazy amounts of ways. Like, it's just, it's weird that I like how you care about the people you say about. Yeah. Thank you. Five is a lot. Yeah. I Let's do three. Okay, okay. Um, let me let me write it down. Okay. I like five things I like about you. 
Um, I'm trying to think. You're very disciplined when it comes to something that you set your mind to. Mm-hmm. Three, um, you get caught up in your head a little bit more, like sometimes. But I can see that, like, once you have like a clear view where you want to go, it's just going to be you and you're going to keep doing this thing. So I'm very excited for your future. Um, that wasn't a thing you like about me. That was just like telling me that I get I like the fact up. that you are disciplined. That was explaining why you're disciplined. <laughs> but cool. you put up a third You're finger. also funny. Um, that is true. Two more. Deep, 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 right? No, it doesn't have to be deep. Yeah. Skill break, watch this. Wait, hold on, give me one shot. Give me a chance! Nice. That was a good series. Um. Yeah, because I fucked up. I would have been a 10 if I landed the first time. You're really good at um, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know. It's too much pressure because like, I don't want to give you... I don't want to say I like these five things and then like there's other things that I like more. So I'm gonna just say those things. I like that about you. Okay. Um I like Shay's personality. <laughs> you don't know I have a lot of that. And then your left thigh, your right thigh, and the thing that sits in between them. What that three? That's five now. Once you add that all together. I'm so tired of people's imaginations, bro. Guys with girlfriends that try and talk to you. <laughs> what do you do in that in those situations? Um, is it online or in person? Mm, both. Do the online one first, though, because that's the most frequent one. Okay. So usually when like a guy slides in, right? I usually go to the profile first. If like, if they say hi, I'm just gonna be like, okay, well, let's go check out how this man's look. Okay. And then if I see a girl on your page and she's there like frequently, if you reply back and I usually say like something like, um, what's up, tell your girlfriend I said hi. Mm-hmm. So that they know that I know that they have a girlfriend. But I don't have the conversation long. Like it's just, if they send something and I'm just like over it. Cause I'm, what's the point? That's online. In person, I always, I never know until like, somebody else knows a person and be like yo this dude has a girlfriend mm-hmm. then i back off because i don't mess with girlfriends like in general i don't mess with relationships like that i don't need that karma i don't need that voodoo so i don't even try to entertain people in relationships but i get them a lot like single boyfriends <laughs> disgust me why do men although in me saying that from my perspective if your girl want me that's not my problem i do not discriminate if a girlfriend is you a hoe because i'm a hoe i'm i'm a principled young man with the relationships that entertain me or, or that involve me but if you don't want to be faithful for your man to your man i'm not going to stand in your way if you find then you find you know which one's the lady one yeah but <clears throat> don't you think that's gonna be like karma no don't you feel like if you're because i didn't betray my boyfriend she betrayed her boyfriend yeah but like what what if you're one in a happy relationship mm-hmm. right and then this girl That's never gonna happen, is now a yeah. single girlfriend. Because we, Lord knows you like a single girlfriend. Okay. So what happens if I don't fuck with single girlfriends and then my girlfriend still cheats on me? Now I missed out on ass in the past and I still get cheated on. Come on, man. That'll be the angel. But from a moral, I get maybe like avoiding the drama of it. But I'm kind of like toxic, so I kind of like the drama. Anyways. And also, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the thought of like, fucking you better than your man can. Sorry, who know? That's just like, that's attractive to me. As the fact that like, he's in a relationship with her and he's providing her with everything, but I've got something that he doesn't, that she's after. What happens? I just wanna feel wanted, man. Okay, what happens if you think you're laying down proper mm-hmm. hype, right? Mm-hmm. And she takes a girl off and be like, yo, dude, I cheated on my boyfriend with this person. Like, I'm actually. But I'm not gonna know about that. So, in my head, I'm a warrior. (laughs) I'm there, like, yo, gave her the night of her life. And she's complaining about me, but I'm not gonna hear it. So, in my head, I still had a great time. You get me? Okay, so, next one. Being friends with people from a higher socioeconomic class. 
you're supposed to give advice. Well, I don't know. It's just like our opinions on it. We are, we have a lot of friends that are richer than us. Yeah, we have no, they're not all of them, but like majority. Some of them are, I think, pretty wealthy. Mm -hmm. um, but the nice thing about friends like that is like you, we didn't realize like they had wealth. Like only afterwards of the hangout for time, I guess, or at least my friends. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I want to say advice is like don't lie. If you know that you don't come from the same background and you can't afford to live that lifestyle, rather be honest with one of the people. Just be like, dude, listen, I can't afford this because other kids can drop racks, and we all know these other kids that can drop racks. But if you know that you can't, just be honest, bro. Like pretending to live to that lifestyle, you're just gonna find yourself like fighting and sad and sad and they're gonna pick up that you're not being genuine you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. you're pretending but also yeah living beyond your means is just it's not fulfilling yeah. like right. when you're chasing to just be in the club it's not cool but the thing that helps me like i'm gonna be honest like sometimes i feel like a lot of people get insecure when they're hanging around people that are richer than them because they yeah. feel like they're the small boy in the situation or whatever but yeah. a lot of the time the thing that helps me is that it doesn't really bother me if I'm hanging out with rich kids that are rich because of their families. Because in my head, they didn't do anything really different to me in my life. Mm. Their family's just wealthy. That's just how it is, you know? Like, it all boils down to the fact that you shouldn't worry about circumstances that you can't change. Now, if you have a bunch of ri rich friends that are rich because they grinded and they got to that level of wealth and you're sitting around your ass doing nothing, that is a source of insecurity that's more, I would say, valid and mm -hmm. relevant. But if you're mm -hmm. just worrying about the fact that people have more money just because their families have more money and there's nothing you could have done to change that, you're just going to give yourself stress. Especially if they don't sort of like make it a problem. Like it's not an issue for them. Although it is much easier when you're the rich person yeah. in, in like the situation, situation to be humble about it or whatever. I'm just saying in, at all times be genuine. Because like even like the richest kid will be, it's gonna be drawn to you because you're just like down to earth and you're just yourself. Because kids like that are also surrounded by other rich kids that also have to sometimes like flex. Like sometimes like your parents are gonna be like, yo, do we not dropping 10k for this video or whatever? And you have to be okay with that. But that is the good side about having richer friends, I think, is that you are now exposed to a lot more than what you would have been exposed to. Um, and it's gonna make you wanna achieve those things. Like seeing someone, I guess, have a nice house or like the dad has a really nice car, it's gonna make you feel like you can work towards that, I don't know. Yeah, but also don't beg it. Like don't take things from your rich friends. Even if they're offering and it's like extra, don't be a bitch. That makes you a bitch, in my opinion, I'm not gonna lie. Like if you have a bunch of rich friends and you're just living off them all the time, like obviously accepting gifts for like your birthday or like a celebration or like if they wanna yeah. help you out with something, that's cool. For you, not for me, but that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, he does have a problem with accepting <laughs> gifts. But like don't be a don't be a leech, bro. No one no one likes a leech. It doesn't matter the socioeconomic level, no one likes a leech. Yeah. Mm. Rejection? That's kind of a Personally, um, guys, this is for everybody that always wants to know. Oh, why don't girls shoot their shot? Why don't girls? Because we know that, like, if I shoot my shot and I get rejected, I feel it. Like, I can feel it in my chest. And, like, immediately I think that because I'm not attractive enough, whatever the case might be. That's my first thought. But then I'm like, wait. Hold yeah, on. welcome. Welcome to what us men have to go through. And then I was like, yo, wait, hold on. Every hello. single day. <laughs> It's not me, like I'm not the problem. Am I the problem? I we love get, the drama. <laughs> we get rejected like on the daily. That's why you guys are so strong. Yeah. You're so strong and I like, sh shout out to every guy that shoots their shot. Um, I'm gonna say girls, if you like a guy, shoot your shot. Because what's the worst they can do? I guess you say no, mm. but you'll feel it. But then keep it pushing, bro. Yeah. Next one. When it comes to like randomly shooting your shot, it's, it's about quantity. It's about trial and error. And the more you shoot your shot, the better you get at it. And then the better you get at it, the more confidence you have. Advice for the guys. For guys. Well, what are we, those what is, what's that manifestation? We attract. So you're going to have the, what is that thing called? Uh, uh, affirmation. Mm -hmm. You're going to have affirmation TikTok sounds. like. Um, we attract, we don't chase. And I promise you guys, like, you should never chase any guy. Because men love shiny things. Like They get confused sometimes. You have to let them work that for your attention, regardless of who you are. Like, always make sure that you tell yourself that you're the baddest person in the room, 
no matter who's in there. And if he doesn't like you, he doesn't like you, and that's okay, guys. Like, you know? That's bad advice, in my opinion. Your advice is basically for women to just be like, we're the baddest bitches, and like, baddest, and the like, baddest. all men need to grind to get our attention. We're bad people as well. Yes. Sometimes you gotta grind for us. Sometimes it's a back and forth. You only start doing something for a man once you can see that there's effort Money coming. Money in his pocket. No. If there's effort, because always maintain the fact that he needs to like you a lot more than you like him. And that's how our relationship start, should start. Wait, we were talking about rejection. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, yo. Now we're talking about who's supposed hey, to be chasing who. Hey, it's supposed to be matched energy, though. Basically. Can we agree on that? Just matched energy. Yeah. Not. Women ch don't get chased, don't chase, yeah. or like men also, don't chase. What I'm saying is like, when I say you should attract, you shouldn't also be a, a dry person. Like if this guy comes to you and like, he's trying to talk to you and you're like him, look, reciprocate the energy so that homeboy knows. If you don't like him, just be like, dude, listen, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> no, ladies, don't lie to him, bro. What are you telling these people? Don't lie. I understand though, I that a lot of the time, men don't know how to take no for an answer. Which is why women end up lying about the fact that they have a boyfriend. Because when they say, no, I'm not interested, a lot of the time the guy will just like oh, keep weird. trying. You get yeah. me? So I do understand that, but lying is still not the answer. Um, but the thing is, when, you, when you say I have a boyfriend, it's like they, 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 they let go of you a little bit easy. Because like, if you're like, no, I, I don't you. like you. Okay, but say, say I come up to you. Say mm -hmm. I come up to you and I shoot my shot. And oh, something oh. I said, like the way I approached you is whack. If you tell me that you can help me for all my future engagements but, with other women, but if you say you have a girlfriend, I walk away thinking like, I would have got it if she didn't have a boyfriend. Fair point, but remember you're open-minded. I have to explain, we're in the club, it's loud, and here you trying to hit on me, and I'm like, yo, like I'm not feeling you, whatever. You're not gonna listen, James doesn't listen. Now when you say you have a boyfriend, it tends to wake them up a little bit, but that doesn't even work. You must have, Guys, I swear to God, you must have a profile picture, like a lock screen with you and your boyfriend as proof, <laughs> right? Because James are like, oh, so where is he? Where is he? Cool. Oh, show me, show me your boyfriend. And then you must also wear a ring on your ring finger, just so that they can like feel some type of way, like not a person. Is that why you wear the ring? Always. Really? Always. Because they always think that like, they're like, oh, are you engaged? I'm like, yeah, I'm seeing someone that is kind of serious. Or... You go like this when you say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it is kind of serious. So you drip down in a dress in the club. They're like, where's your boyfriend? They're like, Soul. Take that, yeah, like on TikTok with the salt. <laughs> where he seasons his food. <laughs> yeah, um, but that's not like the reason. I think I should just like it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so rejection. The final advice for men is just keep it pushing. The the problem is though when you care about her, like when it's your crush. You get me? Like you know her. Oh, do you know, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when rejection sucks. But when it's like in the club and stuff, just keep it pushing. Like the next it's one. hard for everybody. It's not like saying that because guys shoot the shot more, they should be immune to it. It's f it's not nice not having someone like you back. Um, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's just when you like, come from high life. school. <laughs> that TikTok. Yeah. Um, that one um, where it's like when the Grim Reapers are like crying, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> you think yeah. Like, oh my God. yeah. I'll put it here. <laughs> So, oh, you want to say something else? What did I say? It's our, I uh, was saying that it's, it's sore for both parties, so um, girls you never shoot your shot, attract, let them chase you. That's my final advice. Okay, what do, from what we both said, y'all can take what you want. Uh, this generation and its flops. I have, as Uncle Chief Matt, I have so many things to talk about, bro. Where does one start? Where do we start with these misled children, bro? First of all, y'all don't get physically um, disciplined enough, man. I feel like a lot of this would be solved if they spanked you more. I'm, if they spanked you more, we would be getting half the amount of disrespect that we see that online. True. That is true. Also, stop crying about everything, bruh. Oh my days. I cannot take this anymore, bro. Like, people online want to cry. They want to take personal issue with things that don't even affect them. And the people that are affected are laughing along, like with whatever it is, mm -hmm. if it's a joke or it's like yeah. some sort of meme, people just cry because in real life, their opinions don't get heard because they're antisocial in real life. So they come online to get their beliefs and opinions heard. Not everyone needs a megaphone, bruh. There's a reason why some people don't get listened to. It's because you're talking shit. 
you really needed to get that out your system. Um, but on that note, that's this person. Take it. Matthew. Um, take the plastic. Take the plastic. There he is. There, there, there. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't he, be scared. He knew he wasn't about to die. He's like, hey, I'm Sorry about that. He was wearing like headphones. Sorry about that. You flies away. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, shit, but what are we talking about? There's a lot of food, eh? Yeah, there's like... <laughs> Look at all this food, so <sighs> there. Yep, me and my children are gonna eat tomorrow. I'm a bit late. This will sort look of nice. Yeah, but it's dripping. Um, Unlike you earlier. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> and you couldn't even do that. Never depend on men, guys. It's crazy, bro. What were you talking about? You tried to depend on yourself, but you ended up at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I got bitches. <laughs> we were talking, um. <laughs> what the fuck were we talking about? Yo, we must that? remember. Sis. <laughs> okay, George, George, George. Oh, we're on down We're on your... glassware, please. <laughs> I can remember. Okay. It's about the problems with the young generation. Oh, um, one thing I do want to tell people is that, like, the internet is forever. No, that's not where I wanted to go with it. I thought you were going to say the internet isn't real. The, yes. Leave it depend on me, guys. The internet isn't real. If you put your phone down, and you put it away, whatever goes happening online disappears, right? It's on. Like, it's actually so crazy that like, if you have to go online and like, give your opinion about something in someone's comment section, guys, you're not going to get heard because there's one thing to one people are going to just make fun of you because you say some things and you could be right about a top topic, right? But then the other person just won't see your, your point of view and they're not going to see it the more you have like discussions under that comment or whatever the case might be. It's just, it doesn't work and you're going to start seeing yourself. So and like, you don't know them. Why do you care? Bro, you don't even know who that person is. It's, it's, it's a DP of Mordecai from regular shows. It's a 35 year old man. His kids are asleep and he's up at night fighting they're you. trolling you. And you care. Trolling you and you reacting to that crazy, just bro. gives him so much fuel to it. So it's like, I don't know. One thing I don't like about this generation is cancel culture. And I'm going to put that out there because I just feel like it's the most unrealistic thing. Because if everybody... <laughs> can I say another thing? Yeah. If everybody's shit was put out on the internet, right? We'd all be cancelled. We would all be cancelled. That's the crazy part because it, like some of these people take cancel culture to the whole new level. I understand the movement and I get why people do it. If you need to remove the right people from certain platforms, do that. But now, uh, don't be just canceling people for the most random stuff. And also like, ew, it's, it just doesn't make sense because if you put your phone down, guys, it, it doesn't exist anymore. You can't cancel someone that doesn't care about the internet. But it's not a new thing. It's just a concentrated thing now. Like people have always been hating on successful people for time. Like cancel culture, mm. like 10 years ago, was just like when a celebrity acts out and it's in the magazines yeah, and like people are talking about it yeah. and like, oh, that person's a piece of shit, like whatever. Now it's the fact that with social media, you're so like, everyone is so accessible. Like I can, if you're a celebrity, I can be in your head every night. My messages can be yeah. in front of you. Yeah. And I'm random. I have no life. Yeah. But I'm dead, like on your ass. So yeah, that's one issue. What's another issue? Oh, I'm gonna sound like an old head, but the amount of technology, and I know that I sound like a, a, a dumbass because I'm the one on a phone, recording on a phone before I go edit this on a laptop and post it before then I play Fortnite with the boys on my PS4 and then watch YouTube before I sleep. But the amount of screen time is very, very unhealthy, bro. And I feel like, personally for me, like it's affected my brain function. I feel like my attention span is negatively affected. Um, I feel like a lot of you might be able to relate to the fact that when was the last time you spent some quality time with your family instead of just like watching me? I mean, finish this video and watch the ads, please, because I'm trying to buy a Lambo. <laughs> but after that video, go spend some quality time with your parents, bro. Like, what the fuck are we doing every day? Yeah. And I think with, with, with our younger parts of the generation, you're too fixated on what you see online because the moment that person's done recording they said all these people you see online flexing in their <laughs> lifestyle <talking> about me. <laughs> enjoying their time they said bro they cry at night and it's like 
you have to figure out to yourself like what makes you truly happy is it when you post content and you get good vibes and it's like you know you're happy but you also have to be happy with yourself outside of that if you're not then you're just gonna keep attending and it's just not gonna be cool i don't know but spend more time with your family guys because at the end you're gonna realize that that was the what what blah, 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 blah. mattered in the first place yes never depend on men guys i'm reading this book for all the people i want to read books it's called seven habits of highly effective people and the author talks about having the end goal in mind so every day when you choose to live your life what is the type of speech people will give at your funeral and then you have to live according to that every day and that's what's going to matter most in life so you trying to impress your crush is not even going to be part of that you know what i'm saying okay, so stay that. woke young king and queens <laughs> so the next topic is age gaps <laughs>